looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head on over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over the best investments in Madden 21, guys. Now, with Team of the Year on the horizon, Super Bowl promo, and so on and so forth, we have a lot of opportunities for investments. Now, the reason investments have been a lot harder this year, primarily, not harder, but for not as easy to see on the surface is because we're not as easy to guess. Because here's the issue. Most promos this year, every time a new player got a card, like a master set, like if you knew they'd get the master or something, they came with a power-up. So effectively, the power-up market for that player was destroyed instantly. Now, the beauty of the Team of the Year promo is there should be no master sets. They should all just be player drops, which will lead to a power-up increase, kind of like the 50, right? The 50 doesn't have a way of getting a power-up. Now, they do have the master set, but it's not easy. It is super expensive. It does not make it worthwhile to actually go ahead and do it. But... Other sets like master sets are super worthwhile, so the power up is just an extra cherry on top that kills the market for it, right? Ooh, Lee out of that pack. But nonetheless, point being is that team of the year should be a way to get it up. Now remember, there's one key aspect of power ups that people think that seem to forget. Just because the player is getting a power up does not mean, or a new player does not mean their power up will be super expensive. So it comes down to a combination of how many power ups were on the market prior. Like was it a common power up? Because again, even if the card uh, is good and everything, if there's a lot of them, it will take some time for them to all be bought out. And at that point, most of the demand may have been met. So that could mean that the price could still go up to like 8K. I mean, again, if it goes from 3 to 8K, you doubled your coins and more, right? So end of the day, it doesn't matter. That's still a great, like, you know, stock gain. But again, if the if the, if the power-ups, like one of the newer ones, or they're a bit scarce on that to begin with, they're going to go up, right? But here's the thing. It comes down to the card being good. If it's a meta card, like, like, you, like let's say a card that has a 96 speed, right? They're going to be a 96 team of the year card. With that power up, he becomes a 97 speed player and he's the fastest card in the game. That is the kind of power up that flies off the market. You know, if, if with that power up, he gets 99 zone, that's the power up you need, right? That's what's going to make or make or break a good power up. Now, before we get into the video, guys, and go into this, uh, make sure you are subscribed, turn on the notification bell, come join the family, boys, as well. If you're new to the channel, let me know down below, say what's up. And of course, if you guys do need coins, pick up some of these investments. Because again, you're going to make coins off this. I'm telling you, sometimes it's best to just go pick up coins. Head over to my reserve down below, use code Poodle for 30% off. Pick up some coins. And then go ahead and use them to invest and then double your coins and make more money off of it, right? End of the day, that's, that's what a good businessman does. But anyways, uh, make sure to smash the like button. You guys have been killing it. Can we get 60 likes on this video, guys? If we get 60 likes, I'm super excited. If you guys are loyal supporters and you watch every day, always oh, smash the like button. You guys have been getting back on the grind of liking and stuff. We're getting back to the grind. It feels great. But let's get into this, guys. So let's start with the power-ups that I think could be great investments. Now, one of the ones that should get a card in the near future and could be a really good card as well is the Sean Watson. Now, Sean Watson's already 9K. I feel like, here's the thing though, guys. People start to pick up on these trends and the cards themselves start to go up. Now, as you guys do know, um, improvisers at the right overall will be getting Gunslinger and Playmaker. And if you have all, like, you know, just about everything, kind of like Dak. Now, a Deshaun Watson quarterback team of the year could be a 97 overall, which would be crazy. Would be similar to Dak. Again, he's already 9K. In terms of Watson, if you're going to get him, I would I would sit on him for a little bit and look for like one for like 5K. You can pick up those nines if you really feel like, you know, it's going to be worth it. But again, you want around 5K to make sure that you get your price uh, money's worth. Now, next on the list, Dalvin Cook. 4Ks. You can't go wrong with Dalvin Cook's at 4Ks. You can pick him up there. 5K. I would go all the way up to 5.9K. You can get those. Because again, a Dalvin Cook running back, could, but the thing is, the thing with running back that's iffy is that it has to end up being a worthwhile card. Mediocre running back, right? So Dalvin Cook potentially could be great. He could get 95 speed, which would make him very good at high agility. He'd be like in that airy Foster range. I don't know if he'll be insane, but he'll be good enough for people to want his power up. And even if it only goes to like 8K, right? Even if it only comes up to 8K, you are just about doubling your coins on all those investments. So, and they're cheap enough, right? Now, in terms of wide receivers, this one, I don't know if it'll be a good investment. Now, Tyree Kill is just because I think he's, okay, so 7K. Actually, it will be a pretty good investment. I didn't, I wasn't sure if he was going to get, uh, if it was going to be cheap. I would pick up a few Tyreek Kills because if we get a Tyreek Kill team of the year, you don't got to pick up a lot, right? You could just pick up a few if you'd like, maybe snipe him out at five. But if we get a new Tyreek Kill, he's going to go up. A new Tyreek Kill leaves us out. Let's see. So his current card, right? Because I do have his Blitz card powered up. Okay, so his current card is going to have a 95 speed. Uh, if you get a, if he gets a new card, at like a 96, 97 overall, you're going to be able to go ahead. And probably have a 97 speed wide receiver, which could be like the fast guy in the game. So, with that being said, Tyreek Hill will be that guy. 
Because power could shoot up to 15, 20K. And guys, it doesn't sound like a lot, but you have to remember how math works, right? Like a stock, if you double your money in a stock, a dollar is two dollars. If you had enough of those stocks, it'd be a lot of money, right? So if you only have one stock and it goes up, you know, two bucks, you can get two bucks. If you have one stock and it goes up, you know, two bucks, but you have a thousand of them, you make two thousand dollars, right? So you have to keep that amount of players as well. So if you have like, let's say 10 tire kills of 7K, and they go up to 20K, that's 13K increase, right? Forget reduction right now. Well, let's say with reduction, that's 11K profit. 11K profit and you have 20 of them, that's 220K, right? That you just made. I'm telling you, that is how quickly it goes up. Now, this next guy, I'm not, I think he'll make a decent amount of coins. I don't think he'll be insane. Devontae Adams. The issue is, I wouldn't really touch him because he's 8K, and I don't think his, I don't think his team of the year receiver will be good enough to uh, justify actually getting him. You know what I mean? I don't think it'd be justified. And same with uh, Travis Kelsey. Unless they have power, the only way I recommend power for no matter what is if they're below 3K, right? It's so like Travis Kelsey, 3K, uh, no, 6K. Again, these guys will get team of the year players, but I don't think they're going to be fast enough to really warrant a big increase in price. Next, guys, this guy who I think could get it. If not, he will be getting Defensive Player of the Year, and that's TJ Watt. TJ Watt, 7K. I'd recommend getting him for around 5 or 7, but he's going to be insane. And he may even be, guys, he may even be a better investment because remember this. If he does end up getting Defensive Player of the Year as well, he will end up getting that, like, power-up pass, uh, you know, like, like just a power-up uh, training option instead. And if he does if he does get that, guys, he's going to be super valuable like last year because that's when you got super cheap team of the uh, MVP level players, right? That's when you got the award ceremony players for super cheap. So definitely be checking that out. Another guy who I think could be a really good power up is Buddha Baker. Buddha Baker 6K. If you can get a few for four, it'd be even better. But six again. If you pick up, let's say all five of these right here, uh, let's say just about six. You get one more six. That's 30K. A little over 30K, 30, 34K worth of power ups. But if they go up to even 10K, 12K, you're making 70K, right? 70, 70 ish, 60, 70K. Uh, then take away reduction. Buddha Baker could be really good. That's what I like about him. He's going to be a very well-rounded uh, safety. Again, Minka is a dark horse for this. I thought he could get one, but I mean, Buddha may get it over him because they mad to put them at the same position. So if you, if you feel confident with Minka, I'm actually going to pick that up right there. You can pick up a few at around 1 or 2K. You'll probably get an upgrade in the near future, even if he doesn't get the team of the year one. Some other ones. Now, this guy is a guy that is going to be kind of tough because for some reason, Xavier Howard only has an elite. Now, it's kind of weird that he does, but... People are pretty confident he's going to get one. Now, Xavier Howard's going to have a super good car. Going to be really, really fast, probably. He has a 78 speed on his power-up, guys. He's going to be a high 90, like 95, 96 speed kind of guy with great zone, great press, great man. Um, like I said, I don't. I think 9K is a little bit expensive. Uh, not, oh, a little bit. But if you can snipe him out for like 5 or 6, maybe go on the, uh, the Madden app. Side mountain there. Those are some, these are my best ones so far, guys. Like, so I don't give you a pretty long list, but that's because I know that you're gonna want to be checking a lot, right? You don't want to be stuck on one guy. You want to be checking out a lot of these guys. And of course, if one doesn't hit, at least a few of them, others will. Aaron Donald's always a good power up, but again, he may be expensive naturally. Six K. Okay, so actually, I would pick up a few Aaron Donalds. People are underestimating the fact that Aaron Donald is a household uh, staple in Madden. The fact that no matter what car, this is the thing. Like guys with Dalvin Cook, if he gets a card, we're not sure if he'll be good enough to justify a high power up increase. Aaron Donald is always good enough to justify it, right? So, if Aaron Donald gets the next car, right? Because we do have the, uh, this one right here. Let's call, compare it to the 89, right? This is the 89 Aaron Donald basically powered up. If we do get him to the next elite, he's already looking good. If you have you up about, he's going to be about plus eight overalls up. About, no, about plus nine, eight overalls. Probably end up being a 98 powered up and chemmed up. You're looking at a guy with mid 80 speed, 90 excel, uh, about 99 play rec, about 99 block shed, about 99 power move. Like, that is how close he's going to be to all that stuff. And he's going to be, he's Aaron Donald, so everyone already has him powered up, if not wants him. You cannot go wrong with an Aaron Donald power up, at, especially at 6K. I mean, 8K is a bit more expensive, but again, you're going to find a few on Snipes. So definitely be checking those out. So the issue with this guy, this is a guy that I really like, but the issue is that he is a uh, middle linebacker, and people don't really like linebackers this year. Roquan Smith, though, pick up a few up for like just even three for 3K. If he gets the middle linebacker team of the year, you can then go ahead and probably sell him for at least five or six. Just like a few K. And again, if you only make 2K here, 3K there, but you do it in 10 different places, 20K, 100 different places, that's 200K. You know, it really just, it, it multiplies at a point where it's worthwhile. Joey Bosa could be good. His block shed's always bad, which is kind of what hurts him. But for 1K, you really can't go wrong right here. I'll snag that one. Again, if you, especially, if you find any of them for 1K, it doesn't matter who it is, just pick them up. Um, okay, this is one I actually really, I have some high hopes for. And that's going to be Marlon Humphrey. I think he has a chance at a team of the year. Uh, cornerbacks and pick up one right here. He led the league in forced fumbles. He did have a great year as well. You know, as Marlon Humphrey always has a good year. Uh, I, I have a lot of hopes for him. A Marlon Humphrey card would be really good. 1K for the pops across the board. People must not be expecting him to get a team of the year card. I mean, yeah, he did get that series Redux card, but I think he has a chance of getting a 
team of the year card. I think there is at least a chance at bare minimum. Next, guys, uh, one more that I want to go over here. Not Nothing crazy. The issue is with some of these guys is that we don't exactly know if they will get a power-up, right? So we have to be careful, not go, you know, go overboard with it. But I think Zadarius Smith has a shot, you know, 950, just in case. He'll be a pretty good pass rusher, good on a Packers theme team. That's the beauty of these car about power-ups, too, is that there will be at least some love on theme teams. People who are personal, you know, Packers fans or just, oh, I'm a Dalvin Cook fan, right? Okay. So I'd rather have Dalvin Cook than Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson's one speed fast, but I'd rather have Dalvin Cook. Or I'm, I, they like the most recent cards. Team of the Year is newer. I'm going to go with Team of the Year. That's kind of the thing that people have, like a recency bias. But guys, that is it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn the noti bell, like the video, comment down below. Let me know what's going on. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Make sure to subscribe. Of course, guys, come join the family. And let's get to 60 likes on the video. If you guys need coins, head over to my reserve. Use code POODLE at checkout. 30% off. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.